on here guys and today we're talking about the Vifly smart discharger you remember the guys that made this short saver uh, that I keep on the bench and I even designed a 3d printed holder for well they're back at it again with this smart discharging tool and it comes in both an XT60 or an XT30 size, depending on what type of batteries you use. Has this ever happened to you? You got all of your batteries charged for the day, went out to fly and it started raining or your quad blew up on the first plug-in. Well, now you got a bunch of batteries that you have to do not just the walk of shame to go retrieve your quad, but the drive of shame to drive home with packs unflown. Well, the recipe for that, instead of sitting for hours and hours and hours next to your charger to discharge them one at a time, I'm waiting, is to be able to discharge them slowly uh, with one of these things. Uh, these are only $6.99, and it will indicate with a couple of LEDs on here what type of battery you have plugged in because it only goes into the actual power port does not connect to the balance lead and so there is a color code for what type of cell count you plugged in this blue plus green is indicates that this is a 6s pack this can discharge up to one amp but still that means it's going to take a good while for this to fully discharge probably hours right so it says that it's designed to be able to discharge very slowly, very safely, and it will automatically stop when you get to 3.85 volts per cell. I don't know if I would really leave this unattended. You can feel a little bit of heat, but look at the giant honking heat sink that they have on there to be able to really dissipate that heat nice and evenly. It doesn't get too hot. In fact, if you're on a cold day, this could be a nice pocket warmer for you probably last an awful long time because it's going to take a while to discharge this honking 6x 1550 milliamp obionic pack so would i really recommend just leaving it no but if you're working and you're say on a trip or you're mobile and you don't really want to sit there with your charger or if you just have a pack or two and you want to just sit inside have it kind of on the floor discharging or maybe on your bench I, I mean, I just don't like the idea of walking away from lipos in any situation. Um, but I do really like that you can keep this with your kit if you're on uh, traveling or something and you don't have a way to discharge your packs very easily. This is an inexpensive, tiny, doesn't take up any space solution for you. Not bad, Vifly. Also highly recommend if you haven't caught the video on this short saver to get one. I keep this on a bench. I use it every build now and it has actually saved me once or twice another really nice use for either one of these is if you think that you might have a damaged battery or a damaged quad you have a crash it's acting weird plug in after you have it connected to the short saver it might save the whole thing from blowing up you could see if you have something that is shorting you might be able to repair it and save the rest of the build nice job on this Vifly as always thanks guys